Good morning everyone, I hope you're having a good week. I'm here with today's workout. For the workout today, you will need some bits of equipment. You'll need a yoga mat if you're on a hard floor. You'll need your water bottle to keep yourself hydrated. You'll also need three markers. So these could be tins, these could be balled up socks, anything that you've got around the house. You will also need one long sock. I'll be using a football sock, but if you've got something else, then that's absolutely fine. For today, we will be working on each exercise for 30 seconds. Then you get 15 seconds rest and we'll be doing these in blocks of different exercises. Between each block you'll get a little bit more of a rest as I go through the exercises that are coming up and modifiers to make each exercise more difficult or a little bit easier if you need it. Hope you really enjoy this workout, work nice and hard and have fun. Okay to start our warm up we're just going to move into a jog, nice and steady, get those arms and legs moving. Now, as we're going through this warm-up, I will move on to the next exercise before you lot so that I can explain it and then you can join in with me. So the next exercise after our jog is going to be controlled high knees. Now you can step through these and when you're more comfortable you can build up to a steadier pace. Okay, everyone stop jogging, join in with the high knees. So your arms will need to move a little bit more for these ones. Okay, so you keep on going with your high knees. The next exercise will be raising onto our tiptoes. Hold for a second, move down. If you're really confident with those, what you'll do is you'll try and do this on one leg. Okay? Stop with the high knees, join in with the tiptoe raises. Remember, you can go onto one leg if you're really happy. Do three on one leg, move over to the other side. From there, what we'll move into is lunges, but we're going to hold these for a second or two every time we go down. Okay, so hold it for a second or two every time we go down. As a modifier, you can step backwards into the lunge if you need to. Stop toe raises, join in with me. So you can step backwards or forwards into the lunge, whichever way is more comfortable for you. The next exercise after lunges will be jumping jacks, getting those arms involved nice and early, touching our fingertips together at the top. Okay, everyone join in with jumping jacks. going with those. The next exercise is step out into a squat, step back up. So as you can see I'm just stepping out of my right leg to start off with, so join in with me. Just off the right leg to start off with. And now we're going to transition to stepping out with the left leg. Nice and controlled movement. Okay, our next exercise, arms out, start to circle them forwards, so you can join in now. Let them get bigger. And bigger. And then go backwards, small circles to start off with, let them get bigger and bigger. Okay, the final exercise in our warm up is a walking bear The way we're going to do this, crouch down, hands flat on the floor, step each leg out, 
that each leg in, stand up again. So join in with me, down, step, step, back in, back in, stand up. Making sure we stand up nice and tall every time that we finish. Down we go. Step down, step in, stand up. Well then, do any other stretches that you need to do, grab yourself a drink, and then we'll move into the first block of exercises. Right, for our first block of exercises, you'll need to set your three markers out. So, I will be stood by one marker, and then in front of me, in the shape of a V, I've got one marker to my left, and one marker to my right. For the first exercise, we're going to do acceleration shuffles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, run forwards, crouch down to touch the cone with the hand that's closest to it, go backwards, and then out to the other cone. Each time, touching the cone or my marker with whichever hand's closest. If you find that too tricky, then don't crouch down. Just accelerate out and back until you're level with your markers. Second exercise in this block is a jump squat. You'll start facing one of your cones, crouch down, jump out so that you're level, land with nice soft knees, and then you're going to jump backwards to your starting cone. Then go to the next one. So jump out, jump back, go to the next one. Your modifier for this to make it slightly easier is to jump out and then shuffle back. So jump out, then shuffle back if you need to. Third exercise that we're doing in this block, starting at your first cone, you're going to lunge out towards one of the cones, making sure that you try and keep 90 degrees on the front leg and 90 degrees on the back leg. When you do your lunge, you're going to do a little pulse, then stand all the way up. Lunge out, pulse, back in. When we step back in, we're not dragging our leg along the ground. For your modifier for this exercise, you can just lunge out, then back in. Lunge out, then back in. Okay? 30 seconds on each exercise, 15 seconds rest between. I'm going to do all of them twice. Okay, acceleration shuffles first. 30 seconds of work, off we go. Run out, crouch down, touch your cone and back. Remember, your modifier is to not crouch down at your cone, but just accelerate towards it. Keep working nice and hard, you're halfway through. Three seconds left, and rest. Right, our next exercise is that squat jump. Jumping forwards, jumping back. Remember, if you need to, you can just walk backwards. Okay, three seconds left, get ready. And go. Then the next cone. Then the next cone. Each time trying to land with soft knees and springing back. Remember your modifiers if you need them. Three seconds left. And rest. Remember the last exercise in this set is the lunge out with a pulse or just lunging out normally. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Pulse and back. Don't drag your leg along the ground. Stepping out and stepping back in. Yeah. 
and rest. Really well done. We're going to go back to the start now with our shuffles and do each of those exercises one more time. Okay, ready? And off we go. Legs might be burning a little bit on this one. Just keep working nice and hard. Don't go over your pain. Go round them and crouch them down to touch. Okay, three seconds left. And rest. Remember to get a drink of water if you need it. Maybe you can pause the video at any stage if you need longer. Okay, move it into squat jumps. And off we go. If your legs are getting tired, remember you can jump out. Shuffle back, jump out, shuffle back if you need to. And rest. Right, the last exercise of this block, lunge with pulse or just lunging out normally. Ready? Let's go. Step that leg back in. Don't drag it along the ground, even if you're tired. Five seconds left. Well done, that's the first block done. Here are the exercises for block number two. Okay, for this block, for the first exercise, you will need your long sock. What's going to happen is you're going to pop it down to one side and go into the press up position with your hands just in front of where you put your sock on the ground. Now, this is what's going to happen. In press up position, you're going to reach across, drag your sock along the ground until it is just outside where your hand will be when you place it back on the ground. Okay? Try to keep that press up position nice and stable as you do. If you need to, your modifier is the same thing, but with your knees on the ground. And that will help take some of the weight off your arms, but you'll still get the benefits of the exercise. Okay. From the side, the same exercise in press up position. Legs can be slightly further apart. Reach and drag that sock along the ground. And then on your knees if you need to, reach and move the sock across. Okay, that's the first exercise. The second exercise is a half burpee. Now what will happen? Stand up nice and tall. Crouch down, hands flat on the floor. Jump your legs out jump them back in and then come up into a half squat okay then you go straight back down jump jump squat jump jump squat and it's important that you do raise your body up a bit as well and you don't just stay crouched over the modifier for this is to step your feet out each time and slowly come all the way up so your modifier step your feet out Step them back in, rise all the way up. From the side for that one, so first, first example, crouch down, jump, jump, squat. Jump, jump, into the squat. For your modifier, crouch down, step, step, and then all the way up. Not rushing when standing up. Exercise three, in this block of work is push up lowers. So what you're gonna do, start off in the press up position and over the course of the count of three, lower yourself to the ground. 
From there, you can use your knees to get back up into press up position. Do the same again. So, press up. One, two, three. Use my knees, get back up. One, two, three, and down. Your modifier for this one is to do the exercise on your knees. Same thing, one, two, three. Use my knees to get back up. One, two, three, back up, and continue from there. So just from the side, press up position. One, two, three. Use my knees to get back up. One, two, three. And each time I'm controlling my way down. This is the modifier. Don't worry about getting up. One, two, three. So the focus for that exercise is controlling yourself on the way down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna start off with our sock drag with the second block of work. Okay, block two, starting with the sock drags in press up position. So pop the sock to one side, get yourself set up, and let's go. Try and keep yourself nice and level as you do this. Nice and controlled movement when moving the sock. If your legs need to be slightly further apart, absolutely fine. Remember your modifier on your knees, doing the same thing. If you're doing the modifier and feel like you get up, that's absolutely fine too. And rest. Well done. Moving into half burpees. On the next exercise, keep the sock to hand though, because we have got a second round. Okay, three, two, one, and jump, jump into a squat. Jump, jump into the squat. Step your feet out if you need to. Halfway there. Five seconds left. Well done, really good. Okay, next exercise in the block is a push up lowers. So three, two, one, start off. One, two, three. Get yourself back up. One, two, three. Nice and controlled movement, chest all the way to the ground. Halfway there. Well done. Three seconds left. And rest. We're going to move back to the start of these exercises with our sock drive. Okay, five seconds. Get yourself set up. And off you go. Every time trying to keep the body nice and level, move in the sock all the way across. Remember if you need to, down onto your knees, keep going with the exercise. 10 seconds left. Last push. And rest before we go into half burpees again. So your modifier, remember, step out, step in, stand up slowly. Off you go. Keep using your modifiers, keep working hard, almost through this second block of work. Three, two, 
one. Lower yourself down all the way. Keeping your body nice and straight as you do so. want to use your yoga mat if you're on a hard surface. The first exercise that we're going to do is something called plank up downs and what you'll have to do is stand at the bottom of your mat facing forward. What you'll do is you'll move into the plank position on your forearms, body nice and straight and then you'll push yourself up so that you're in the press up position before lowering down again. So starting off in plank Push yourself up, one hand at a time, then lower down, one hand at a time. The modifier for this one is to do the same thing, but with your knees on the ground. So, starting in plank, my knees on the ground, raise myself up, lower myself down. Okay? The second exercise that we'll move on to in this block is called mountain climbers. From there, I start in press up position, and I'm going to move each knee up towards the gap between my elbows. Now, your modifier for this one is to move slowly, one at a time, and if you need to, lower yourself down onto your knees for a little rest. If you're feeling quite confident, you can move up to a jog, and you'll complete the exercise at a faster pace. The last exercise in this block is called heel taps. You'll turn over onto your back as if you're going to do sit-ups, arms down by your side but with your palms facing inwards. From there you can raise your shoulders off the ground, reach down and tap your heels with your fingertips. Now if you can reach down a bit further, get a little bit further down your shoe, that's great, but try and keep your shoulders on the ground. Your modifier, just have a little rest for a second or two, then back up, and off you go with the taps. There are the exercises for block three. It's the last block of work that we're gonna do before a cool down, so push yourself nice and hard. Okay, first exercise is those plank up downs. So get into plank position, and start raising yourself up and down. Modifier is to go onto your knees if you need to, just drop down, same exercise. Halfway through, keep working nice and hard. Try not to let your hips go down too much or too high as you're doing this. Five seconds left. And rest. Second exercise is mountain climbers. For those ones you can either move your legs quite quickly or take it a little bit less intense. Three, two, one, off you go. If you need a rest, drop down onto your knees, have a breather, and then back up. Ten seconds to go. and rest. Last exercise is heel tap. So flip over, like you're going to do a press up, sit up, sorry, and when the time starts, tap your heels, off you go. If you need a rest, lay your head back for a second or two, then back into it. And rest, well done. 
We're going to go through all of those again. Keep working hard. And then we go into our cool down. So, first burn is those plank up downs. On your knees if you need to. If not, up in the proper full on press up position and down. On your knees, same exercise. Just keep you going, keep yourself going. 10 seconds of this exercise left. And rest. So mountain climbers are coming next. Remember, vary the pace to vary the intensity. Three, two, one, off you go. If you need to, turn on your knees for a little rest. Set yourself up again and off you go. Got five seconds left. And rest. Flip over onto your back for heel taps. And this is our last exercise in this wall, in this workout. Shoulders off the ground. Off we go. Remember if you need to, rest for a second or two, then lift yourself off the ground again and carry on. And done. Grab yourselves a drink of water, we'll move into a little cool down and then you'll be done for the day. Right, we're going to start our cool down just by looking up and down. Nice and controlled. Try and get your breathing back to normal. Hopefully you've worked really, really hard. Right, from there, move into left to right. Just trying to look over your shoulder. Taking it nice and easy. And cool down for the day's workout. Okay, from there, rolling the shoulders forward. And then back. If there's anything that you particularly liked in this video, or anything that you'd like to do more of, then please do let us know. Hopefully, we can start to include different bits in different workouts. If you've got any ideas for workouts that you'd like, any themes that you might like us to try, just comment on this video and we'll see if we can get some included. Bring one arm across your chest, the other arm comes up just below the elbow and just pull gently. I am planning to do another stretch video when I've worked on my flexibility as well and hopefully there might even be another superhero video as well because that one seems quite well received. For the next stretch, take one arm just behind your head like you're trying to touch the middle of your back. Other arm just gently pulls on the elbow so your arm's level with the side of your head. As well as the PE challenges that are happening every week, be sure to check out all of the other stuff that's going on on Teams. Teachers are putting in so much hard work for you guys. Hopefully it's making lockdown a little bit more bearable until we get to go back to school normally. Okay, from there, just give your arms a little shake and you're going to lunge to the side. If you want to put your hands on your knee, absolutely fine. Try and keep yourself quite upright while you do that. Rock over to the other side. And then back again. One more time to the other side. From here, step your legs together, 
got one foot out in front of you, okay, one foot out in front, bend the back knee slightly and sit down into this stretch and then lean forward so your hands come on your knee. You should feel this right up the back of your leg. From here just lift the toes off the ground. Pop them back. Stand up on the back leg and swap over. Bend your back knee. Sit down into the stretch. Uh, hands on the other knee if you need to. So now lift your toes. And then lower again. Stand yourself up. Face back to the front. From here, we're just going to sink into a squat. Take our arms down so that our elbows meet just above the knee on the inside of your leg. From there, hands to the ground, straighten your leg leg if you can. If you can get your hands flat on the ground, that's absolutely great. Walk yourself over to your right leg, back to the middle, and then over to the left, trying to get your chest closer to your knee. In the middle, bend your knees slightly, stand up. Well done. That was your workout for today. If you need to do any more stretches, feel free. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how you find it and enjoy the rest of your week.